Now, Alfred, you know I love this whole show, but I have to admit, this is my favorite part, the main event. And we have got a good match here. Oh, it really is a good match. It's a tag team match. And on one side, I'm going to say one side, you can talk about the other. Okay. I'm going to talk about Snake Roberts teaming up with Hacksaw Jim Duggan. It's a fresh combination. I don't really know if they will sort of melt their talents together, but each of them individually has a lot of expertise, a lot of skill, and they definitely have a lot of energy. Okay, on the other side, we have the Million Dollar Man. He'll team with his bodyguard, Virgil. Now, we haven't seen Virgil in the ring, but we know he is one awesome individual. And let's not waste any time. Let's get right to this match. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a tag team attraction. It is scheduled for one ball. Introducing first to my right, both men hail for their winter residences in the Netherlands and Chile. Have a combined weight of 510 pounds. Introducing first, Virgil. And his partner, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. The Million Dollar Man really gets around. Their opponents have a total combined weight of 529 pounds. From Stone Mountain, Georgia, Jake the Snake Roberts. This is some tag team matchup. Hello, everyone. From Glen Falls, New York, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Well, as I was saying, I'm Sean Mooney along with Lord Alfred Hayes. And we're ringside here in Huntsville, Alabama. Yes, I wonder if Duggan has a winter residence somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere down south. Well, right in the woods somewhere. Yeah, I don't think the cold would affect him at all. He's just one big, tough, strong oh! man. I don't know if any uh, type of weather would affect that guy. <laughs> no, listen to the Ooh. Tough guy is right. <laughs> well, they've got their work cut out for them in this main event here. Because Robert, the snake, and Huxley Duggan are going against two of the toughest men in the World Wrestling Federation. Well, it'll be interesting to see uh, Virgil in the ring. Yes. What kind of a uh, ring tactician he is. Well, Virgil doesn't often step into that ring, but he's quite an accomplished performer when he does. I guess as a bodyguard, he must be skilled at uh, all types of combat. I would imagine. I mean, I can't see that man there, Ted DiBiase, employing him as a bodyguard unless he was. Unless he uh, could take care of... Uh, a little more than he could have. Yeah, exactly. Well, he's locking up here with Jake Snake yeah, Roberts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jake Roberts quickly turns. Back and forth they go. Hey, hey, bro, come on. Yeah, I'm full of hair, yeah. Yes. Hey. Well, neither man uh, afraid to uh, step beyond the uh, wheels a bit. No, and for Jake the Snake, that was a little tit for tat. Yeah, I think so. Whoa. Jake's taunting him. He wants a million dollar man to face off in the ring here there he goes Ooh, a knee to the midsection and he's pounding him with that forearm tries to go for the body slam but Jake quickly reverses it and lands several blows Hacks off with the million dollar man and Hacksaw got one in there too and another GBS is caught now between the two of them boy that's a little keep away they're playing there between oh no Duggan Hacksaw Jim Duggan marches into the ring he is so charismatic And it doesn't take long for him to go to work. Right after the million dollar man into the turnbuckle. I think we're going to learn how to count here. We go for the full 10, Alvin. It looked that way. <laughs> I don't know whether they got to him or not, but they may have done. Well, we still haven't seen the appearance of Virgil. No, I think it's about time DiBiase gave that tack to Virgil, otherwise he's in danger. Right. I don't think matter. at this point he can. No. Whoa. There is a big boot right to the face of Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Ah, the second rope there with an elbow smash. DBS who always thinking his way out of these corners and straight to gets himself into, and that's why he is such a good wrestler and so highly rated among the list of top contenders. Uh, he is very skilled in the ring, as we are seeing right now. Hacksaw reverses. 
I was about Plus to say some strength and send Jake right into the turnbuckle. Yes, I was about to say that Hacksaw didn't really get the full force of that clothesline in on Ted DiBiase, and that's the result of what happened. As you so aptly pointed out there, DiBiase still had strength left. He is a very intelligent wrestler, always aware of what's going on. You really have to take him out to put him out of the action. Yes, and look what he does now. He sets up. Here comes Virgil. Jake the Snake and puts Virgil in at a time when Snake doesn't have too much resistance to answer against Virgil. Not in for long. <laughs> then he makes a take. A little bit of a extended abdominal stretch there. As the million dollar man comes in and they're just exchanging blows. And Jake's on the receiving end right now. Yes, Jake has taken quite an amount of punishment now, and uh, he seems to be on robbery legs, in fact, robbery arms too, because he's got no defense at all. Came down full force with that boot. I think that landed right on the top. It seems to have hit out. It's a little high. Yes, another tag put in uh, his man Virgil when Snake can offer no resistance at all. It looks like he's shielding Virgil. Well, what we've seen so far is Virgil just coming in and delivering a few blows. Not much, uh, not much wrestling at this point from Virgil. Yes, and the referee right on Virgil, reprimanding him there for that attempted choke hold. And he sets up Jake Roberts again for the Million Dollar Man as he delivers that boot right to the ribs of Jake Roberts. Got that front suplex now. as well, landing right in the back of his head. But it looks as if the beat. DiBiase is really hurt here. He's holding his back. That was a devastating suplex. He's in a great deal of trouble. And mustering what strength he has to deliver some blows to Jake Roberts. A knife to the throat there before. Roberts desperately needs the tag right now. He's got to get out of here and put the fresh man in Duggan. And Duggan can't wait to get in. He's, in fact, he's anticipating that tag. And that could be dangerous for his partner. Well, I think Birds are showing right now what he does best, and that is use his fists. But Jake Roberts showing his skill and experience here. Jake fighting back. Hard. He isn't completely out of this yet. Oh! Jake showing that he too can deliver a blow. And Birds is hurt. And Birds is complaining to get out. He's no, right here. He took over. Well, Hacksaw's not going to stand for that. No, but it might be a wrong tactic because look at this behind his back. The referee's back, that is. They're and working over Roberts. Million Dollar Man sends Roberts to the ropes. And Virgil waiting there with a boot. Picks him up there and drops him back to the canvas. Nice back to the cover. Two and so close. Now take. Knowing where he is in the ring, very smart, got that boot up on the rope, and we'll have a break. Yes, I think a triumphal fortune up there, this bout could have been history right now. That, he got the full two there and was going for three, for the referee he took notice of that boot up on the rope. Oh, the million dollar man, Paul Wanda, drive that shoulder, completely missed, right into the turnbuckle. What an error, what a mistake, what a tragic mistake there for DBS, because this is definitely given. Jake the Snake time to tag out. Oh, uh, Jake trying to make that tag, and Virgil steps into the ring. And a big... Drops that fist. DBS he managed to Jake Roberts. Managed to tag in Virgil just in time there. And Virgil, he seems to do nothing but want to choke, choke Jake Roberts, and that's not going to win any matches for him. You know, Jake Roberts only had about a foot to go to make that tag, and I think things will be a little bit different right now. Definitely. Once Hacksaw Dobbin gets into the ring, I can assure you this fight is going to turn. He is so fresh on the outside. Now Virgil makes the tag Good once changes. again. Good changes by this team of DiBiase and Virgil. Well, I think a million, million dollar man has schooled Virgil very well for this game. Oh, stop it, Boy. <laughs> the million dollar man trying to bring Jake Roberts to his feet. 
Jake being very aware of what was going on. Just dropped his feet out from under him. Look at Hostel stretching out. Just a half an inch, an inch or so. And they're not letting him reach the corner to bring in Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And Virgil's back in, pounding away once again on Jake the Snake Roberts. All this audience, this entire audience here, 15,000 people standing on their feet. Well, Virgil has set the chin lock here with those big pythons he has for arms. He can smother him with that bicep he has. Yes, and he's telling the referee to check him out because Jake is fading rapidly there. When I say rapidly, it's not so rapidly. He's been on the receiving end. Do you think that's Virgil's uh, version of the million dollar dream? <laughs> It certainly could be. That's a half a dollar dream. Yeah, I don't think he's uh, <laughs> quite got the million dollar tucks there no. yet. He needs a little more work. Oh, yeah, heavy on, boots on. inside yeah. Roberts. You know, it's just amazing, Jake Roberts, where he gets the strength and energy sometimes. It's just it's amazing. Yes, you've got to take your hat off to him. He's got a lot of courage, a lot of grit and determination. But he's got to make that tap. Refuses to give up. He Ever. certainly does. Ever. And Million Dollar Man sends him into the rope. And Virgil, and that's right there, showing his inexperience, put his head down. And Nick, you can't do that against Jake Roberts. He's oh, a little yeah. bit dizzy and woozy from that. Virgil grabbed his leg down, he went, I don't think the referee's going to stand for that at all. Well, let's get the official word on this one, we do have a decision. I think there's been just too much of this going on, this interference. Well, this, is turned, this has turned into a street ball at this point, Alfred. It definitely has, and I believe there is has already made a here. Now we're seeing some, some great action right here. Oh no, here comes the, Damien is in the ring now. And look at the million dollar man. Look at him out. He's falling out backwards there. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this bout, as a result of a disqualification, the team of Jake the Snake Roberts 